Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a very detailed asymmetrical bob knotless braids. One side longer and one side shorter and this hairstyle is screaming class. Alright, let's get into it. This is my cute model Sarah. Her hair is falsy and already blown out and detangled. This is the hair we're going to use pre stretch braiding hair. We're going to use some crazy glue, some leave in conditioner, shine and jam, and we're going to use some of this curly hair, okay, that I got from Amazon. So we're going to do the base of the bob first, and I'm just going to explain as we go. To finish the base braid, I'm going to start filling in hair and just like do the first um, bob box braids. So I'll fit in like small pieces of hair. The size we're doing is small, so just fit in small pieces of hair like this, and then I'm also going to fit in the curly hair for the ends. For the style, um, you're going to leave some curly hair out of the body of the braids and also on the ends, which is what I did here. So I'm going to stop right here on her um, shoulder and I'm just going to secure the ends by taking this small piece and adding some of the crazy glue and then I'm going to wrap around the glue, okay, just like this. And add more glue and just wrap around to so make sure that the glue is really into the braid so that way it doesn't come undone and um, the curly hair that I left out of the braids before we reach the ends I'm actually gonna cut it off you're gonna see me cut it off because for the first row of the braids I'm just going to um, leave curly hair on the ends of the braids only so you're gonna see how I structure the braids from the beginning to the end because the style is really detailed, so you have to pay attention to details here. So you're going to see me cut off that, <laughs> that curl hanging. Because I was like, hmm, I'm not feeling this extra curl on the body. So I ended up just like cutting it off. And just, yeah, <laughs> just leave the braids like that. And then um, just do the first row of the braids with only curls on the ends. But this is what it looks like for the first braid.
Okay, so we've done the first row of knot lace box braids with the curls on the ends like this. And I'm going to use this as a guide for the rest of the braids to get the asymmetrical look. Okay, so before we do any more braids, I'm going to section out the front because she's not going to have a specific middle part or side part. I'm just going to section out the front so that way the braids can just like fall in the direction that we're going to do the asymmetrical braids. You could have a side part if you want, but I just want her to be able to kind of flip the braids over to have the look that we're going for today. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then we're just going to continue to part in a smile direction. So you're going to see me parting in a smile direction after this. So now for this row, I am going to leave some curls out of the body of the braids and I'm also going to start measuring the asymmetrical length. So we're doing the right side longer than the left side so every braid that I will do on the right side of her head I will make it like two to three inch longer than the last one so the length is going to continue to progress and look longer on the right side you will see it as I go so don't get confused All right, so I'm gonna show you guys this whole knotless feeding in a slower motion again, but I want you to first understand th the structuring of these braids, okay? So you see in this row, I am leaving curls out of the body of the braids, okay? So you want to kind of um, add curls on the end on one row, and the next row after that, you add curls on the body of the braids, and the next row after that, you maybe skip adding curls and the next rule after that you add curl on the ends on one braid the second braid you you don't add curl so you kind of want to like space out the way that you're adding curls so that way it's not too much and it's not too little okay but you're gonna see how i do it as we keep going all right so now i am braiding the left side okay and I'm going to measure the length of the left side to make sure that it's equal and I'm not going to make the left side long like the right side so I'm you're gonna see me measuring this braid with the braid underneath it to, to make it equal with the same length okay so you want to make sure that the braids in the back and the left side is equal okay and then on the right side it starts to progress into a longer length Okay, so this is what we're doing from a visual standpoint, okay? This is what the braid is going to look like from the back, right? It's going to be like a curve, and this is going to be the right side, this is going to be the back, and then this is going to be the left side, and we're going to braid it in this formation. I hope this is clear, but um, just pay attention, and, and I'm sure you're going to be able to understand what I'm explaining. So when we're done doing the whole braids, that's when I'm going to cut the curls so you could see the formation of the bob as I explained in the drawing.
Okay, well, I'm more than halfway through, and at this point, you kind of want to step back, okay, and notice the, the curls that you're adding, okay? Like I said, we're gonna cut off all those curls once we finish everything. So at this point, you wanna step back, notice how the braid is forming, as you can see. This side is shorter and this side is longer. So that's the shape we're going for. I'm gonna continue to make the right side longer even more when I get to the very top. All right, so now this is the final part before we see the U shape that I mentioned towards the beginning when we started, okay? And then after that, we're going to start parting in a different direction. But um, basically, like I explained, you wanna pause notice how the curls is forming so now i have seen the way the curls and the braids is forming so from this point i am going to start adding curls at the very very top of the braids okay you're gonna see me doing that and um yeah again you could do it your own way it doesn't have to be exactly how i'm doing it but the the, the key is just to pay attention to the details where you're adding curls, where you don't want to add curls, and how you want the hair to look. Okay, I'm gonna show you something important in this section, but this is how the knot list goes. Braid one, two, three, four, five. Get a tiny piece of hair, feed it on the right, braid to the left, tuck under, on the right. Feeding on the right, braid to the left, tuck under, on the right. I'm gonna feed in a curly hair and pay attention to how I extend the curly hair so I'm gonna feed it in and make sure that it's long enough for the ends as well okay so let me do it again all right take the curly hair when you feed it in make sure the piece at the bottom is longer and I just leave that piece on top out and I just continue to braid.
So now we have the U shape. I'm going to start parting across. Alright, so now we are ready to cut, okay? So I am going to separate the hair in three sections. Remember we did the right, the back, and the left. So I'm going to separate them in that way and we're going to start cutting in this angle. We're going to cut the back first before we cut the sides.
Alright, so this is just the first cut. I'm going to reshape it and clean it up even more. So first we cut the braids with all the braids in the back. So now I'm going to bring it towards the front on her face and then really reshape it to frame her face and to frame the asymmetrical um, shape that we did. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, now I am satisfied with the cuts. I'm just going to make sure her edges are good and I'm going to add some mousse to the curves. I love it guys and my model Sarah buddied this look like I always like to try my creative creativity on Sarah because I know that she's gonna just like bring this style to life y'all the hair looks really really good it's different it's stylish it's not your regular bob it's just different and I like to create things that are different and I absolutely love it and um, yeah you could definitely do this bob equal length if you want if you want to do like equal kind of asymmetrical length on both sides you can do that too but I wanted to do something classy and I love it y'all follow Sarah okay that's my sis right here okay she is a top top model you heard you heard follow her on TikTok Instagram everywhere <laughs> bye guys see you next time <laughs>